Welcome to Who's Got the Tea, where we explore all things tea. My name is Shayna Hu. I'm a tea enthusiast, exploring teas and taking you with me. So today, as you know, we will be exploring flowering tea. I always give my viewers a little history if they would like it. If you don't want it, skip ahead to the fun part where it blooms. Flowering tea is made by hand sewing tea leaves and flowers. They are formed into a ball and held in that ball shape by thread or a cheesecloth. They will stay in that shape until they are dried and ready for tea brewing. Because many flowering teas use flowers, there's often a mild herbal flavor associated with the tea. To give it a little bit more spunk, jasmine tea is often incorporated to enhance the tea flavor and the aromatic experience. Although flowering teas can contain flowers, it doesn't mean that a flowering tea must have a flower. All flower blooming teas are blooming teas, but not all blooming teas are flower teas. The term blooming tea refers to the actual action of the tea leaves blooming and opening up when they are placed in the hot water pot. Health benefits associated with this tea, it really depends on what is in the tea. Hibiscus, for example. Hibiscus is really good for decreasing blood pressure. If it has the green jasmine tea, then green jasmine is great for antioxidants. It is great to fight free radicals. It has a great aromatic therapy associated with it. I love the smell of jasmine. Of course, guys, we need a clear teapot to watch our tea bloom. So I got this glass teapot along with a glass lid, of course, and a loose leaf tea infuser. And what I love about this teapot is that the glass is obviously see-through, which is perfect, but the glass can also withstand high temperatures so you can actually boil water in it. It's not just for looks. Added bonus, the spout pours tea really well. Okay guys, so this is the close-up of the packaging. If you turn it over, you can see the actual bud. I have a closer look right here. So right in here, you guys can actually see how the different leaves have been dried together. And so when they were initially formed, they were formed on a piece of thread. You can actually see the, right there, you can see the white thread there. And that's what's holding the tea leaves and the tea buds together. So once they dried and they kept that form, the outer thread or the outer cheesecloth could be taken off and now when you put it in the hot water, these leaves that have been dried together will loosen up, creating a blooming tea. I can see a little bit of the purple flower in there, so there is going to be some type of purple and maybe orange flower, I can see right there. Now that I've gone through all the wordy things, let's get right into watching this blooming tea. All right, so we made our beautiful blooming tea. I hope you guys got to see a close up of what it actually looked like. I tried not to mess with it too much, but I still wanted to poke and prod so that you can see it standing upright in its optimal form. So as you can see, it's a little dark. It's closer to uh, an orangey, a light orange maybe. Uh, the tea is very aromatic. I smell a lot of jasmine. If you know anything about me, I love jasmine tea. I'm a big fan, so this flowering tea is right up my alley. So let's taste. So there is jasmine flavor, but there is a fruity, and it's not citrusy, but a kind of tropical fruity flavor that I get. There's a lot of layers in this tea. It's really nice because I don't think I even need honey. I don't need sweetener. I could drink it just like this. Guys, it's been such a pleasure having you here today. I really enjoyed making this blooming tea. I hope you guys try this tea or maybe you guys have tried this tea before. If so, let me know in the comments below. 
Well, I'll place a link for the website that I got this beautiful teapot from as well as the blooming teas. There will also be a code down below. If you use it, you'll get 10% off and I think free shipping, but don't quote me on that. But apart from that, guys, I hope you have a great day and until next time, see you soon.